All right, everyone, we're here at Catch Surf today, headquarters here in San Clemente. Um, I've had a lot of questions on how I do particular things to my board, do little uh, details and stuff like that, and kind of uh, add my own little touch to things, you know, change it up a little bit. So today, I'm going to show you how I do little things to my boards. One of the things I like to do is I like to mess with my fins. So I'm going to show you how I do my fins. You guys can do the same thing. The things that we're gonna use today. Number one, brand new Special 54. Tri-fin, my board only comes in a thruster. But if you want to, you can, check this out, ready? You can not put this fin in, only use these two fins, and then you have a twin fin. Or, Two, you can, which I do, which is fun, we sell different types of fins and sizes. These are the regular tri-fins, but we have a little mini fin that you can put in here. So me, the board that I use, I use two normal tri-fins that are in this box, but then I switch the third fin, the, 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 this fin, the thruster, to our mini fin. What comes in the cat surf thing? That fin key that just flew out, wrapped very nicely, because we care about you and your fins. Three fins. Fin keys are pretty cool because what we can do with them on this side is you can do your fin key system, okay? And our tops of our keys fit in here. See that? So you can tighten all your stuff. So it's a multi-purpose key. All right. With this, what you do is you can just take any type of sandpaper, probably not a gnarly one, but just like a little one, and just give it sort of this. You want to sand it a little bit so it has something to grab onto and it roughs it up. So your fins are really smooth when you get them. And then you do this. This is a pretty fine one. This is for dings on surfboards what it's made for, but you can't really see it, but it kind of gets a little bit of a scratch to it now. Anywho, you get the picture. Just don't go super, super gnarly grit because if you go the super gnarly grit, it's like gonna really scratch the shit out of it. You don't want that. Killing it. All right, got our spray paint. We got blue for the blue, purple. We got pink, yellow, and we got black. So step back. We're gonna take it in the, the trash can area. We're gonna keep it nice and ghetto. Kids, don't do it in some kind of crazy spot where your parents are gonna kill you. Do it like here, where there's in the trash and you can't really piss anybody off. So this is the first coat. And as you can see, I'm breathing in all these fumes. Don't do that. All right, welcome back. It's been about two minutes. <laughs> Here we are. Blue fins, one coat, first, first side. I do a little test. Yep, dry. Flip it. Okay. Side two. I'm out of here. Blue, green, you know what I mean? All right, so this is the first coat. This is the first side. You gotta let it dry, don't freak out. Let it dry for a little while. In the sun, it dries pretty quick. So we're gonna let that first coat dry and then we're gonna keep going. Stay tuned. Uh, also, let me add, you might wanna go to the ventilated area and not be a dumbass like me. Whew, tell you what. <coughs> Phase two. I'm getting high in there. It's kind of hectic. Purple. Side one, side two. Since we're waiting for that to dry, let's do something to this. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Party drips, the party drips. Lastly, we are going to put our fins in. So let's see how our fins look. Ooh, all right. Got our, our middle one. And there you have it. My new signature special 54, 54 special, I always say it wrong, with my custom fins that everyone out there can do themselves. So this is how you do your fins. Hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want. I'll be giving you more tips on more things that we do here at Catch Surf and more ways to customize your board so you can be looking a little bit different than everybody out there. All right.